What's up, Blader Nation? Who wants to see a Hypersphere unboxing? Let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at the Beyblade Burst Rise Double Pack. Erase Diablos D5 and left Astros A5. And yes, this is a recolor Astros. Um, the other one looks more anime accurate. But let's go ahead, check out the back of the box, which you can see Erase Diablos is a balance type where left astros is a defense type just like my last unboxing i'm seeing a pattern here with what actually gets put together um unlike slingshock we don't actually have stats for these which probably another big gripe i have with hypersphere like i don't know why these are the only stats when they all have particular stats to them but left astros is a less spinning bay and it does have the same gimmick as the slingshot left astros and right artemis where it can split the uh energy layer in half so you can fuse them together um also, as well, we get a god chip of Diablos, and if you bought the TT Diablos, this is actually the energy ring you get with the, I know in America it's called Venom Diablos, I can't particularly remember the name of the TT version, but you get both Venom ring and this ring in the TT version, so... Now we can finally see how the Venom, or how the Erase ring works, and maybe I'll try Venom against Erase. But go ahead and join up on the Hasbro Beyblade Burst app. Find me on there and try to beat me the best as you can. I may be better than I look. But let's go ahead, unload the contents of this box, and check out the pieces. So here we are with the pieces out in front of us, and because I do technically have the predecessors of both of these bays, we will be taking a look and comparing them to these bays. But to start out with left Astros, like I said previously, you're able to twist the middle part of this, separate it, and then if you have the right Artemis, you could then put right Artemis on one side and then have yourself the fusion of the two as a hypersphere bay. Um, just to give you a quick look, here is the slingshot mode. Also, here is the QR code for left Artemis and the slingshot mode. But yeah, you take your um, ripcord, and you just insert it right here. You would then twist, which can't do with my finger anymore for some reason. And the ripcord I have closest to me, I don't think will do it because they didn't put a tool on it. But yeah, you would just twist it, it would come apart, and then you can fuse them together. Which my wife, Norm, this is actually my wife's bay. She normally has them fused, and eventually I will make a spotlight video on all the bays I had unboxed before I made my YouTube channel, so you can see how each bay actually works. But let's go ahead and weigh the top layer, which is 12 grams. That's actually pretty thick. I actually want to compare that to the Slingshock version which is 11 grams, so it's about a gram heavier, so it's not that bad. Next, let's look at the Forge Disc, which we get Blitz. Um, Blitz is commonly used with um, Valtriac Base. Um, the American Blitz 
compared to the TT and Pro Series Blitz normally have these like flaps that come out on the bottom. But the American Blitz doesn't get that unless you get the Pro Series version. Which, let's see how many stars this has. I'm counting one, two stars. So let's weigh it out. And 18 grams. Next we have the performance tip, which is Spiral H. I'm not sure if I have this in any other color, but it is very, very decent looking. Um, there's the symbol, which let's try out the spring. Not too bad. Look at that symbol. So it's like a spiral shape. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh it out. Looking at 9 grams for the spiral. Uh, another thing I wanted to look at is the slopes on left Astros. Which even though the packaging doesn't show a GT tip necessarily, this is in my opinion, consider GT chip because you do take it out. But let's move on to erase. So we're going to look at erase Diablos. And the major difference with erase is the fact that the like ring is going to the right, where with um, Venom, the rings are going to the left. Um, let's check out the slopes on them. Not bad, not bad. I really like this white color, though. It's, like, it's really white. <laughs> I don't know why it's grabbing my attention that much. But let's go ahead and weigh them out. 12 grams and just to compare because we have the regular venom diablos here like i said these are going left while erase is going right which i think he is supposed to switch spins also there's the qr code for venom diablos which if you don't get now you will get when i make my spotlight video or if I make a video when I get Master Diablos. But. <clears throat> check him out. He's at 13 grams. So I think Erase is like a gram lighter. But also Venom Diablos comes with the same Forge disc. Which is Vanguard. Uh, we've seen Vanguard before on other bays. Let's check out the stars. We got three stars on this, so we're going to weigh it out, 21 grams. And next we're going to look at the bullet performance tip, and actually it's bullet 2H. Um, comparing it with the bullet 1, which I'm now seeing a pattern when it comes to uh, Dante's Bay, and I can't remember the bit later that I used Diablos. But Dante and his, um, the drivers are, like, evolved with each new version of the bay. Um, Bullet Driver 2 is more like a cone shape. Where Bullet Driver number 1 is supposed to actually look like the Bullet Driver you get in the TT. Where the bottom actually would separate and you have that clone. But... The Hasbro version didn't get that. Maybe we'll get a Pro Series version. Since it looks like the Pro Zer Series Chow Z's work pretty well. So I'm expecting possibly Pro Series um, Rise Bays. But let's check out how much it weighs. Uh, 9 grams. So it is pretty thick. Uh, let's put these together. You have... 42 grams for erase and it, he would just go on 
and 38 gr- 38 grams for West Astro. So, E-Race is a little bit heavier, but now we're going to test them out with some test launches, and then battle them out in my, what I call, the Battle Dome. I know it has a different name, but Battle Dome sounds cooler. So, let's get to battling. So here we are at the UBA unofficial Battle Dome, and if you're wondering what the UBA is, I will leave a link in the description below so you can find out more. Don't want to give away too many secrets, but before we begin, I'm not quite sure if I gave you guys this QR code back in my um, Spark Battle Set uh, video, but there you go, now you have it, and today... We're going to be putting these two bays against a gauntlet of a bunch of hypersphere bays, but Left Astro Hypersphere is going to face its predecessor, the Left Astro Slingshot, and see who comes out on top. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do some test launches. So, to start us off, we're going to be test launching Left Astro, the hypersphere, and see how it does. Three, two, one. So, in my opinion, he really doesn't have all that much movement. I'm used to bays like circling around, coming up here, coming back down here. He pretty much stayed down here. Um, so we're going to move on to Erase. One thing I've not noticed before starting this video is the fact that I had mentioned that the in the show and the TT version of Erase, they had it as a left spin, and I thought I misread something on the back of the box. He is a left spin, so I do want to put that correction out there. Um, he's not a right spin, he is a left spin. So let's try him out. Three, two, one. So he has pretty decent movement for a balance type. Um, another thing I want to put out for left Astros, he probably stayed in the middle a lot more because he is a defense type just like his predecessor. But yeah, they both have decent spin, so let's go on and move on to the battle. Um, I'm going to go with left Astros versus left Astros first, just so we can get that battle out of the way. And then I'll move on to... Erase versus Venom, and then we'll go on to the other battles. So, Left Astro's predecessor, 3, 2, 1. And a burst finish from Left Astro's Hypersphere. So that, that was pretty intense. Next we're going to do Venom versus Erased, which is right versus left. Three, two, one. And Venom got a burst. Next we're going to do Erase Diablos versus Ace Dragon. Three, two, one.
So they're at a standstill right now. We're going to see who's going to win the sleep out. Mind you, I am rooting for Erased and Left Astro to be the best two out of this gauntlet. So if it sounds like I'm biased, I'm like, go Erased, go Erased. I'm not shouting out for Ace or anyone else. It's because, well, this video is all about them and I want to see them perform well. Not so you all buy them, but because that's just how I am. And Ace Dragon won by an inch. Next, we're going to do Glyph Dragon versus Erased. Three, two, one. Come on, Erase, going for those attacks. Finish them off. And Glyph Dragon won by a hair. Next, we're going to do Master Kirbyus versus Erase Diablos. And the reason I chose Master Kirbyus is technically you could take the Master Ring off this, put it on Diablos, and you'd have his final form, Master Diablos. Just probably not his performance tip since I'm guessing since Master Diablos is the third form, they probably have a third bullet um, performance tip. So, three, two, one. Master Kirby has knocked him out. Into the gutter he went. Master Kirby is with the win. Next we're going to do Myth Evo Dragon. Three, two, one. So, I'm going to give it to Miss Evo's Dragon, even though it looked like a tie. I'm really upset that, I don't know if it's just my Erase Diablos, but it just seems like he's not performing as well. But we have two more battles, try them out. Next, we're going to do Union Achilles versus Erase. Three, two, one. Come on, Erase. Oh! Achilles is coming down. Okay, race. Go for the attack. Go, go, go. And is he going to take it? Oh, he raced one. The first one he got is against Achilles, against the grand champion winner. Last battle on this gauntlet is going to be Command Dragon versus a race. Three, two, one. Next, we're going to do Left Astros versus the Gauntlet, starting with Ace Dragon. Three, two, one. Come on, Left Astros. Guys, comment down below. Was that a tie? Next up, we have Glyph Dragon. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Seriously intense. Next we have Master Kirbyus. Three, two, one. Come on, 
love that goes. Stand your ground. Let that first game those attacks in. Come on. And Left Astros is the winner. Next we have Union Achilles. Three, two, one. Come on, Left Astros. Take those hits. You're good, you're good. And I'm going to call that a tie. And last but not least, we have Left Astros versus Command Dragon. Three, two, one. <laughs> Who's going to take home the win? I think Command Dragon might be stuck up top. Will Left Astros win this stamina battle? And Command Dragon won by a sleep out finish. And last but not least, we have Left Astros versus Erase Diablos. Three, two, one. Oh. Will we race stop Diablos to get the win? I'm calling that a tie. Do we want to see another battle? I think we do. Three, two, one. Oh, left Astros with that first finish. So there you have it. I'm pretty sure we can all determine who's the better Lee Bay out of the two. Um. Diablos tried his best, could not overcome his downfalls. He, in my opinion, he performed ad adequately. Um, Left Astros was surprisingly very good. Um, really happy on some of those bursts that were made. But yeah, it's, in my opinion, it's a good pack to buy. If you're going to buy a double pack, if you already have Venom, get Erased. Because maybe if you add the first bullet driver onto him, it may end up being a different story. Um, also, like I said, I saw a pattern with all the dragons. Maybe Diablos is the same way. Once you get Master Diablos, he's just by far the best out of the three. So maybe you could come up with some combo using... Master Diablo's ring, um, Erase Diablo's chip with regular Diablo's tip, or any kind of combination you may want to grab. And since we are at the end of the video, before I forget, let me go ahead and give you those QR codes. Go ahead and scan that right there. Yes, I know I could take out the chip, but that makes me do more work when I know personally you can get it from just the middle. There's the next QR code. So now you have both of these bays as long as you took the time and paused your video and scanned them into your game. Uh, try the bays out on the burst app before you go buy them. You can challenge me to a battle and I can possibly beat you while you use these two bays. But further ado, let me go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you can keep track on all of my videos, 
and go ahead and like this video if you liked what you saw here today, and, well, go ahead and share to everyone. When I say everyone, I mean your friends, your dogs, your cats, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your president, your alien neighbor down the street named Zim, like, everyone you can share this to, put it on Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, OnlyFans, whatever it may be, like, share this video, share all my videos, because I like to share, because I learn sharing with caring. But have a wonderful day, my blader nation. Stay Beyblading, keep safe, and let it rip!